मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू लास्ट डे वी हैड फिनिश्ड अवर थर्ड लेसन बट द एक्सरसाइजेस आर नॉट कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द स्टोरी आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस दैट यू हैड ऑलरेडी डन इन योर फेयर नोट टुडे we will learn the exercise other exercises see the second one is word study take your book page number 14 word study fill in the blanks in the following sentences using the phrases in the box in the box some phrases are given there see the words live on fond of talk out of make a meal of be straight with five words are given five phrases are given you have to complete the following sentences with the right word first one dash me and don't tell me lies which word will come here can you say dash me and don't tell me lies which word will come here be straight with be straight with me and don't tell me lies that's the answer now the second one sirin is so dark sea sea breeze that he goes to the sea shore every sunday can you select the right word from the box sirin is so fond of the second phrase Sirin is so fond of sea breeze that he goes to the sea shore every Sunday. Now come the third one. He has made a dangerous plan. But I will dash him dash it. See what will come here. he has made a dangerous plan but i will talk him out of it here the phrase is given like that talk out of but you have to write talk before him talk him out of it that's the answer now fourth one the lions dash the meat of smaller animals the lions dash the meat of smaller animals what will come here you know the lions leave on the meat of smaller animals leave on the meat of smaller animals Now next one The cat caught a small bird and wanted to dash it The cat caught a small bird and wanted to Now only one is left Which one make a meal of So that phrase will come here in this blank The cat caught a small bird and wanted to make a meal of it. That's the answer. You have to write the answers in your textbook with a pencil. Okay, now come to the next one, B. In word study, B. Match the words in column A. with their meanings in column b 
you know the meanings are given in page number 13 so you can select the right meanings from page number 13 okay first one delicious what's the meaning of delicious Delicious means here in B group meanings are given but you have to select right meaning from the B group. Tasty that is the correct meaning. Delicious means tasty. So you have to write the answer here in the third column. D. Only the question number D. So second one. Nectar. Nectar means the sweet liquid in a flower. So you can write there D. Third. Plentiful. Plentiful means in large quantities. So in third, for third question, you can write E. Fourth, obvious. Obvious means clear. B. And fifth one, sulk. Sulk means be in a bad chamber. F. And the sixth one, jealousy. Jealousy means anger because of loss of love. The first one, A. Seven, the guilty. Now only one is left. C. Feeling that you one has done something wrong. For seventh, C. So you can write like this. The for first D, second G, third E, fourth B, fifth F, and the sixth A, and the seventh C. Now come to the next one. Next exercise. What is that? Third language study. Look at these sentences. Two sentences are given there. And these two sentences are joined with a word. See. The crocodile's wife ate the rose apples. That is the first sentence. The rose apples were sent by the monkey. That is the second sentence. So you, you, you should join these two sentences with the word which see these two sentences can be combined into one the crocodile's wife ate the rose apples which were sent by the monkey see when you write the answer when you join these two sentences yeah when you combine these two sentences don't make any full stop in between See, full stop is omitted in between. Don't write. Okay. The crocodile's wife ate the rose apples. No full stop, no comma. After that, which W will start with a small letter W. Which were sent by the monkey. Now combine the following pairs of sentences. Now combine the following pairs of sentences. See, I got this from a monkey. That is the first sentence. Second sentence, the monkey lives in a tree. I got this from a monkey. Full stop. 
The monkey lives in a tree. That's the sentence, second sentence. You have to combine with the, with the word here, which will not come. Then what will come? That. Okay. I got this from my monkey. I got from a monkey. See, I got this from a monkey that lives. That it lives in a tree. See, this is the correct sentence. See, I got this from a monkey that it lives in a tree. Here you see, in the second sentence, the starting words are the monkey. But when you write the answer, when you combine these two sentences, you will not write the monkey again. Okay? And a full stop also. You will not write any full stop in between the sentences. Okay. I got this from a monkey. See. I got this from a monkey that lives in a tree. Okay. Second sentence. We live on an island. Full stop. The island is sunny and beautiful. Combine these two sentences with a word. We live on an island that is sunny and beautiful. We live on an island, no full stop, that, small letter that, is sunny and beautiful. Now the third one. I will bring down my heart. Full stop. My heart is in the tree. I will bring down my heart. Full stop. My heart is in the tree. When you combine these two sentences, the word which will come in between. I will bring down my heart which is in the tree. Don't write my heart again. No full stop in between. I will bring down my heart which is in the tree. That's the answer. Next one, fourth one. Shiva has a new umbrella. Full stop. The umbrella was given by her mother. You should combine these two sentences with the word which. Shiva has a new umbrella which was given by her mother. Then full stop. Fifth one. The merchant tried to lift the bag of grain. Full stop. It was very heavy. When you combine this, you have to combine it with the, the word which. The merchant tried to lift the bag of grain which was very heavy. After which, don't write it there. Sixth one. The earth goes round the sun. Full stop. The sun is at the center of the solar system. Combine these two sentences. The earth goes round the sun which is at the center of the solar system. Now next one. Mrs. Reddy is teaching a poem. Full stop. The poem is simple and beautiful. Combine these two sentences with the word which. My Mrs. Reddy is teaching a poem which is simple and 
beautiful in the last lesson also you had learned to combine the words sentences with the word when are you remembering that here in page number 7 in page number 7 we had combined two sentences with the word when okay here you have to combine these two, uh, two sentences with the words that or which now come to the next one fourth one fourth conversation study see fourth one let's talk This is a conversation between two. Role play the following dialogue. Here, first one, crocodile. Crocodile is saying, "Hello, friend. How are you?" This is this is a conversation between two. Crocodile and the, the monkey. Your lesson was like that. Like a play. Okay. Crocodile. Hello friend. How are you? That's a question. How are you? Monkey. I'm fine. Thank you. When somebody asks you. How are you? What will be your answer? Your answer will be. I'm fine. Thank you. Here next crocodile. Today I have come to invite you to my house. Monkey, why is it your birthday? Crocodile, no, it's not. My wife wants to meet you. Monkey, oh, I see, but I can't swim. Crocodile, I'll take you on my bike. Mangi okay i'll come down in a minute crocodile thank you okay this is a conversation you should learn this conversation how a conversation will be written now come to the next one fifth one fifth exercise paragraph writing see Here a paragraph is given. Complete the following sentences. A paragraph is given, but some words are omitted. When you write the paragraph, you have to write the omitted words, the correct words, with the correct words. Okay. See once. Dash dash leaves. Dash dash rose apple tree. The sentence is from your book, your test. Once a monkey lived, isn't it? Once a monkey lived in a rose apple tree. See which word will, which words will come here? In the first dash a. In the second one, monkey, and in the third one, in, and in the fourth one, a. See, once a monkey lived in a rose apple tree. Full stop. That's the first sentence. Now second sentence. One day, dart dart came there. You know who came there? One day who came there? A crocodile. Okay. So in the first dart. In the first blind, you have to write a, and in the second one, crocodile. A crocodile. Dash monkey. Dash, dash some rose apples. You know, when the crocodile came there, what the monkey done? The monkey. See before monkey, you have to write the. The monkey. The article. The you have to write there. Okay. The monkey threw down. 
two words through down some rose apples full stop and the next sentence the dots liked them who liked them the crocodile liked them so you have to write the crocodile the crocodile liked them next one he took dash rose apples dash dash wife can you write can you complete the sentence he took some rose apples to his wife next one the crocodiles dash wandered dash dash the monkeys dash you know when she ate the apples rose apples what did she wanted to eat are you remembering ah you had you had to write here the crocodile's wife wanted to eat the monkey's heart next is one next sentence the dart swam towards dart dart the monkey dart his back then the crocodile what did he do the crocodile swam towards home with the monkey on his bike next sentence then the dart said that dart heart dart in dart dart then full stop okay then the monkey said that my heart is in the tree next sentence dash crocodile dash bike what will come there the crocodile turned to bike full stop next and the last sentence the dart went up dart dart to safety the monkey went up the tree to safety that's the answer so students you should write all the exercises in your text textbook itself with the pencil next day we will learn